Howdy. We are on Reuters. <clears throat> That's some five months old. This environment. New Zealand farmers to face livestock emission charges under new plan. The very bad cows. A cattle farm is seen in Fernside outside of Christ Church, New Zealand. Yeah, probably the place of Christ Church had a very different name before the white man arrived there. But anyway, Wellington. The New Zealand government on Tuesday confirmed plans to price agricultural long lived gases and biogenic methane. That mainly comes from cow and sheep burp separately in a plan that farm groups have raised concerns about. The government on Tuesday released its proposed plan on agricultural emissions pricing, which, when introduced in 2025, will make New Zealand <coughs> a large agricultural exporter, the first country to have farmers pay for emissions from livestock. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Bill Gates. The proposed plan has been criticized by farming groups, worried about how the proposal accounts for on-the-farm forestry and what can be offset against emissions. They say increased costs will encourage farmers to turn beef and sheep in farms into forestry. New Zealand has about 10 million cattle and 26 million sheep, nearly half of its total green gas. Greenhouse gas emissions come from agriculture, mainly methane. But agricultural emissions have previously been exempted from the country's trading scheme. Yeah, not only it's probably hard for them to get some food for the, the cattle, but also they are talking about methane. Methane, methane, or however you spell that in English. <coughs> So, it's about money, because I might be wrong, but I don't think that there are any sheep or any cows on the moon Triton. Global color mosaic of Triton taken in 1989 by Voyager 2 during its flyby of the Neptune system. Color was synthesized by combining high-resolution images taken through orange, violet and ultraviolet filters. These images were displayed as red, green and blue images and combined to create this color version. With a radius of 1350 kilometers probably, about 22% smaller than Earth's moon, Triton is by far the largest satellite of Neptune. It is one of only three objects in the solar system known to have a nitrogen-dominated atmosphere. The others are Earth and Saturn's giant moon Titan. Triton has the coldest surface known anywhere in the solar system. About 391 degrees below zero. It is so cold that most of Triton's nitrogen is condensed as frost, making it the only satellite in the solar system known to have a surface made mainly of nitrogen ice. The pinkish deposits constitute a vast solar polar cap believed to contain methane ice, which would have reacted under sunlight to form pink or red compounds. So. There is methane on Triton, but no cows. This could basically mean that taxing for whatever cattle raising or this kind of things doesn't make any sense. Or is there anyone on Triton paying taxes for the methane there? Probably not. Yeah, we can zoom in. Yeah, I don't see any cows anywhere. Or sheep. 
And still, there is methane in the atmosphere. Just, it's amazing. Making people pay for, for what? <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I leave it here. Thanks. Bye.